Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So today we're going to be doing some sketching and instead of just sketching whatever I want, uh, I'm going to do random character sketching. In this case, we're going to do a Genshin edition sketching. Maybe in the future we could do this more with like a different like fandom or franchise. But today we're just going to do Genshin characters because I'm most familiar with Genshin characters. I haven't drawn like every single character in the franchise, but I've drawn a good amount, I would say. So, which is why I wanted to sketch Genshin characters today. So let's just do that. The random aspect, I'm going to be using a random wheel uh, randomizer thing. I hope this wheel has all the characters. Let's just spin and just get started. Oh, it's official. Okay, I thought I was gonna land on Bennett. <laughs> okay. All right, and then I'm gonna remove her because next time we do it, we're I don't wanna get official again. All right, so let's start drawing official. I'm gonna like, I will have a reference. I can't do this from memory. The designs of the characters are too um, intricate. So decided maybe we can just color the sketches. I think we might make this sketch session look a little more interesting. So, I think I have a hard time drawing Fischl. I'm not like used to drawing her. I have drawn Fischl like with her alternative skin because at the time when she, when that skin came out, I really loved the design. Personally, I like the alternative skin design more than her original, but I think her original has like more of a cooler aspect to it. And then I would say the other skin has more of like an elegant design. But yeah, this sketch official, I definitely had like a hard time like in the beginning because I wasn't sure how I wanted to pose her at first, but uh, eventually uh, she turned out pretty good, I would say. Like in terms of the other sketches, I would say hers was actually the best in my opinion. But yeah, I really like using uh, official in game. I thought she was, she's a really good like electro character. Um, I don't use her as much as I did like before, but I do use her like when I need to use her. I really wanna like get Yai Miko eventually, but I think Fischl is good like just for now, like with my current teams. Probably the hardest thing about drawing Fischl was definitely her dress. Like, in the beginning of me sketching her outfit, I was, I guess you could say I was determined to do, like, half, the half of the body. But then I realized that's a lot of work, so I was like, let's just simplify this. And I decided to just cut off it, like, around, like, her chest area to make it more easier for myself. Because just drawing, like, too many details, it, it just was a little bit overwhelming. And I would say it's very rough. Like my sketching overall is pretty like on the rougher side. I'm unfortunately I'm not the neatest person when I sketch because I sketch I tend to sketch very loosely. But you know it's fine. It it's just a sketch. Yeah, and then I end up coloring the sketches. I think coloring the sketches actually like made it really fun because I got to really test my knowledge on like whether I know how to like make them look like their like original character designs. But yeah, it was pretty fun. I would say I would try to do this more often. Maybe next time I'll try to like do more like my best to make things look a little bit neater. I didn't really render these sketches as much because I didn't think it was necessary. But yeah, I like coloring them. So I think next time, yeah, we'll try to do something like this. Maybe with like a spread of like one person because maybe too many different characters is a bit overwhelming. So I think maybe I'll try to do this again, like with just one character focused. Okay, 
Okay, let's move on to the next one. All right, let's see what the next one is. I hope it's not someone hard, please. Ah, oh, it's Yai. Okay, I've drawn her before, so hopefully this will be easier. All right, move. All right, let's try drawing Yai. Wonder if we'll get any male characters. Um, just one FYI, this is, like, I switch, in the video, we switch back between, uh, my real-time voice and this is my voiceover voice, because, um, at the real time, I wanted to at least record my reaction of which character we got, so that's kind of why it sounds like I'm talking more in present time, uh, when I spin the wheel. But yeah, anyway... I have drawn Yai before. I really like her design. I remember when I first saw her, I was like, wow, I really want this character. But when she came out, I ended up not getting her. I think because I was waiting for somebody else. Who was I waiting for? Ooh, I don't remember. Oh, it might have been... Or I think what it was, I got Raiden maybe before Yai came out and then I just depleted all my savings and I was like, no, I can't afford to get Yai. Or I was waiting for somebody. I can't remember exactly who came after Yai, but yeah, there was probably somebody I was waiting for. I, and I did, I skipped her on her rerun too. I feel, cause I was waiting for Al Hytham. I, Honestly, I feel bad. I'm like, I said I want her, but I kept skipping her. Next time, if she comes back, I want to try to at least get her. Because I really like her, um, that she can just, like, attack without being on the field. And then she just kind of AFKs everything, which is really nice. I also really want to get Ayato if he ever comes back to. I missed his rerun because I was waiting for Al Hytham. But you know what? It's fine next time for sure but yeah i think yai came out pretty good i think also it helped that i was familiar with like how to draw her since i have drawn her before she's a really fun character i would say to draw because she has like these different kind of like accessories and i like that she has like fox ears so that's kind of always fun to like draw I definitely want to like draw, uh, redraw Ayato. I have drawn Ayato in the past, but I want to try redrawing him. And I'm thinking of probably doing that for a future video of redrawing fan art. I have done a redraw before, but honestly, I'm still kind of like, oh, I need to redraw more fan art because I'm still not satisfied with some of my fan art I've drawn in the past. So maybe we can do that for the, maybe an upcoming video I am am thinking of doing. Oh yeah, and then let me know if you guys really like the ASMR type videos. I hope to like do more of those in the future as well. Um, I think this will be the last uh, random character. Maybe I'll consider doing another one tomorrow. But for today, I'm just gonna be the last one. So let's spin the wheel. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it's Candace. I've never drawn her before. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Okay. I don't know. I've never really drawn her before. Maybe I will consider doing a fourth character. Let's try doing canvas over here then. Okay, so when I was drawing Candace, she definitely gave me a challenge since I was not super familiar with drawing her. Um, I would say what was a bit difficult was like her bangs. So like her bangs have like this kind of... I don't know, like it points and like it curves to like 
one like center point, right? So like the middle of her bangs is like the center and like her bangs kind of curve at a point in the middle of her forehead, which gave me a lot, kind of a bit of a trouble. Like I, it didn't give me too much trouble, but like it was definitely a little bit weird because I'm like, I'm not really good at drawing um, characters with like the Hime cut, which is basically the flat bangs like on, uh, in, uh, on your forehead like type of hairstyle and I suck at those type of hairstyles and Candace kind of has like that similar style but hers just curves and it was a bit of a challenge but you know it, it was still kind of fun figuring out how to draw her I definitely sh would like to do like a full-on portrait of her eventually at the time of her release I just didn't really I don't know I did feel like drawing her I guess because uh Sino came out when she was released so he was kind of like the character I was pretty obsessed over at the time and yeah and he's also voiced by like my favorite Japanese voice actor Irino Mew so I was like yes I really want him because of his voice actor and yeah I ended up just drawing him like at the time of the patch I was really surprised his rerun came so fast because right now it's Dia and him but yeah I think Candace I'll try to draw her more in the future i think she really has a really elegant and pretty design especially since she has like heterochromia like her eyes are so pretty i, sh I would like to do like maybe like a night portrait of her or something something that would like has the moon because like she has like a lot of because she has that crescent moon in the headdress on the back of her head so she has like a lot of like motifs for that so it would be kind of cool to do something like that i would for like a future portrait candace is definitely probably my least favorite sketch out of all of the sketches i did on this uh video also i feel like contributing to this factor was I was getting pretty tired at this point when recording so I was kind of rushing a bit because I wanted to be done and yeah I probably at that point I should have just like stopped like sooner but I didn't I was like determined so that's why I kept going but yeah I didn't really do too much detail on her compared to everybody else as well Alright everyone, today is day two of sketching. I think this is just going to be the last one we're going to do today. I just wanted to fill the page at least since we have a blank spot right here. Alright, so we're going to spin it again. I think the wheel might have resetted, but that's okay. If we get the same person, I'm just going to spin again. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's Nilo. We got all girls. I was kind of hoping we would get a male character. Okay, I've drawn her before, but I didn't really like my drawing of Nilo like way back when. Oh man, she has a lot of accessories on her head. Okay, we're gonna just like do a very simplified version of the of her. I would say drawing Nila was pretty fun. I really love her color scheme in general. And I think it was really great to like being able to draw her again. I definitely felt like I rushed her a bit though, unfortunately. I feel, a I wish I did take more time to draw her, but at the same time, I was like, there's too many details to flesh out on her design so I was like okay we just gotta make this quick and simple because if I don't uh just draw it all at once I or like in knowing that I am pressed for time I'm gonna take too much time and then the recording was gonna take forever to do which is what happened 
But I think, yeah, out of everybody, I definitely had the most fun with hers. And like I said uh, in earlier, I have drawn her before. I didn't really care for the drawing that I've done with her in the past. Like, I think uh, when I was, when I drew her in the past, I had a really hard time with like her color scheme. And I wasn't sure like what kind of background or lighting I wanted to do for her. But I would say she is definitely on my list for a redraw as well, because I really like her design. I unfortunately don't even have her in the game. I hope eventually I could get her, like if she has a rerun. Her, the only thing I am dreading about is if I, debating to get that, her sword, the, the keeve or whatever it was, the ugly paddle, everyone calls it. Honestly though, her sword isn't the most aesthetically pleasing, but I mean, it does give her like the best stats. So yeah, I really love Nilo's eye color. It was really nice to like color her eyes and her hair is just so vibrant. It's such an interesting, I love how Genshin like, blended like this cooler kind of warmer tone with her like design it was really fun to do and yeah i think hopefully one day i can like do a redraw of her eventually there's like other characters, so many other Genshin characters I haven't drawn yet that I would love to draw. I definitely would like to draw more four star characters. I draw mainly, I would say five star characters because every time they come out, I'm like, oh, I gotta draw, I wanna draw the new five star because it's like, you kind of have that hype or excitement for that character when they were, when they are first released, so. You just kind of like want to draw every like five star you see but definitely i should i would like to do more of the four stars as well since they all have like like i would say every genshin character has like very unique design like genshin's really good at distincting all their characters from each other so it'd be really nice to try to do some other characters besides the five stars Overall, this was a really um, fun exercise to do. I think it's a great, it's great doing like random characters because you never know who you're gonna get. Um, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, of me drawing random Genshin characters. Hopefully next time we can get more male characters. And yeah, so uh, see you guys in the next video and hope you have a wonderful day.